It's about the fact that we share everything else along the way. That's what brings us together. And people come together, they can believe in the impossible. They can find hope. So tonight, we celebrate the power of sports together. We are Vegas strong. The Vegas Golden Knights again create history. to the 2018 Essie Awards, everybody. You excited? I'm Dan Patrick, and it's true, the Espies have never had a host like me before. As you can see, I'm their first race car driver. So obvious. For the last 25 years, the Espies have been about celebrating the magic of sports. No matter what else is going on in the world, Sports have always had the power to inspire and give hope, unless those people are from Cleveland. <laughs> I've been coming to the ESPYs for many years, and when hosts have singled me out on a joke, I know it's a sign of great respect. 
And I can't wait to show that same respect to so many of you tonight. <laughs> World Series champion Jose Altuve is here. And when I say it's incredible that Jose can reach the top of his profession without being able to reach the top shelf of his locker, <laughs> it's out of respect. We have lots of NFL stars with us tonight. Nick Foles and the Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles are here. <laughs> NFL Offensive Player of the Year, Todd Gurley's here. And Odell Beckham Jr. is here tonight. Odell is once again healthy and will return to the field next season. But his hairstyle is still listed as questionable. <laughs> Hockey's Las Vegas Golden Knights are here. The Golden Knights were one of the best expansion teams of all time. But they lost to the Washington Capitals. The Caps won their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. And Alex Ovechkin couldn't be any happier. I haven't seen a Russian this pleased with Washington since, well, two days ago. Speaking of other countries, congratulations to France on winning the World Cup. I'd make a joke about the U.S. soccer team, but they didn't qualify for this monologue. <laughs> but America did kick ass in the Winter Olympics this year. They did. Some of the stars of this, this year's games are here tonight. Our gold medal winning women's hockey team is here. Gold medalist Chloe Kim's here. And Instagram's Adam Rapone is here. I'm told he also won a medal. Give it up for the U.S. men's curling. Oh, is there extra? Keep going for Instagram. Give it up for the U.S. men's curling team. They also took home gold. And for those unfamiliar, curling is the sport where you are allowed to kneel. It's totally it's encouraged. That's right. We have to mention the elephant in the room. It's time to talk about the national anthem controversy. <laughs> I, I don't know if Fergie was thinking either. But, you know, we all have bad days. Speaking of, Tucker Woods is back. Sort of, I guess. I mean, you know, why do people keep talking about this guy when he isn't winning? Who does he think he is? Me? <laughs> the Golden State Warriors once again won the NBA Finals. <laughs> Turns out with just a little grit, determination of four greatest players on the planet, anything is possible. <laughs> so many big NBA moves this offseason. Kawhi Leonard went to the Raptors. Dwight Howard went to the Wizards, and Ben Simmons went to the Kardashians. <laughs> but who are we kidding? The biggest off-season pickup was LeBron James. I would ask you if you're excited, but I can tell you are. I mean, who doesn't love LeBron James? He's one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And now, LeBron is the newest Los Angeles transplant. Los Angeles transplant is also what he Googles when he needs new hair. That's okay. Like LeBron, when he hosted, 
He made fun of me too. I'd say we're even. J.R. Smith would say we're up by one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, he made quite the little oopsie in the playoffs this year. You know, it's not good when you have a hundred tattoos and none of them are your biggest mistake. <laughs> the villain of a Wildcats here tonight. Villanova won their second national championship in three years, which is really amazing and surprising because Catholic schools usually forbid students from going all the way. <laughs> all right, it's time to give out some awards tonight. Remember, the ESPYs are voted on by all of you. And there's no greater honor than being recognized by actual fans. This year, millions of them cast their votes on Twitter. And only a thousand were from Kevin Durant's burner accounts. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. What do you say? Crown a house vibe to this all night. It's going to be a great show. Present our first award. Please welcome from the Orville. Beautiful Jessica Zor, and from the New York Giants, Oda Beckham Jr. There's years of training and preparation before you get a chance to compete at the highest level. And when these athletes finally get their opportunity, they deliver in spectacular fashion. Here are the nominees for Best Breakthrough Athlete. Legendary. Oh, the Saints have found in the sky. He didn't look like he was running, bro. Who's that Simmons guy? Here comes Simmons on the jam. How did he do that? Wow. There's a new fighter in town, Sloan Stevens. He ain't gonna be no standing in my way. Stevens spinning the lock. You'll we'll be hearing about this guy for a long time. Oh, great. Throws down by Mitchell. Oh, oh real much. And the SB goes to Donovan Mitchell. of you guys in here <laughs> um well you know first of all you know i don't know how many know my story uh last year around this time already over a little over a year ago i was contemplating whether i should even enter the nba draft if i was good enough um and without my support from my mom my dad my sister and my mom's sister here tonight with, without y'all to Uh, my mom took, mom and sister took 14 hour car rides from New York to Louisville just to make sure my confidence was okay. Uh, and anyone that can do that, man, I'm about to hear about cry. I really appreciate it. And um, I want to thank uh, them. Like, just please give a round of applause. Please, please. I want to thank Greenwich Country Day School, Brewster Academy, University of Louisville, CAA. Uh, Without, without the, the help from all you guys, you know, I wouldn't be here. And um, I leave you guys with this. Uh, my message is to, to all the kids watching, man, don't let anybody put limits on what you can do. Um, people love to do that nowadays. Go out there and, and have fun and enjoy it and, and just 
enjoy life and, and enjoy your passion, whatever it be, whether it's sports, whatever it may be. Uh, don't let anybody put a limit on yourself. You're as good as you can be. And, you know, as my man, my man Kuz, you know, we can come out of nowhere and um, surprise a lot of people. So for all the kids out there, just do you and have fun, man. Thank you guys so much. Salute the best breakthrough athletes in their relentless pursuit of greatness. Thank goodness! Yeah, win. Oh, it's such an honor. Thank you all. Welcome to the show! Tonight, the Espies. The stars in sports and entertainment come together to be inspired and amazed. The 2018 ESPYs is presented by the Quicksilver Card from Capital One. Our unlimited 1.5% medalist, Michaela Shiprin. And Olympic bronze medalist, America's sweetheart, Adam Rippon. We all know that feeling. You're watching a game on the edge of your seat and it hits you. This is an instant classic. This is a game that people are going to be talking about for weeks, that parents are going to be telling their kids about for decades. Here are this year's nominees for best game. and Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl. I The U.S. Women's Olympic Hockey Team. big squad so I might have to get this going uh, while everyone's getting their hugs in. We're a hugging team so um, gosh thank you so much um, to so many people ESPN, uh, TUSA and the USOC, uh, USA Hockey, um, all of our fans uh, and supporters, the young girls around the ranks that are always banging on the glass turn on our team. Um, this means the world to all of us to be standing up here together so thank you guys. Um, to the other nominees in this category, it doesn't matter what sport you watch, what team you love, 
Um, those games were outstanding to watch. The Rose Bowl, double overtime, uh, Astros, Dodgers, World Series. Epic, epic games um, to watch and be a fan of. So congratulations to you guys as well. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, a fire was lit in all of our hearts after watching Team USA win a gold medal in the 1998 game in Nagano, Japan. Um, a dream that all of us have built our lives around. Uh, and while this team has been through a lot of challenges along the way, on and off the ice, uh, we faced them together as a group, united and strong. Uh, we persisted and succeeded, and we stand before you tonight as Olympic champions. That championship game in South Korea was certainly dramatic um, and filled with energy and emotion. Uh, arguably the greatest day of many of our lives, I would say. Um, and that rivalry with Canada is so fierce, so long-standing, um, and to come out on top after all this time, having gone through so much together over the years, uh, it's a dream come true for all of us. To be standing up here accepting an ESPY award um, for best game is a tremendous honor for our team. Um, we accept it on behalf of female athletes everywhere that have had those dreams um, and relentlessly pursued them. Uh, so keep dreaming. Thank you very much. They've created some of Hollywood's most memorable characters. In Pride of the Yankees, Gary Cooper made us laugh and cry as Lou Gehrig. In Hoosiers, Gene Hackman was an inspirational basketball coach. And in I, Tanya, I play a whack job mother from hell. <laughs> and tonight, I have the honor of introducing another entry in the canon of all-time great American sports stories. Take a look at this exclusive preview. From makers of I, Tanya comes an eerily similar story. Meet Danica. I'm the best driver my sport's ever seen. I drove a double axle better than anyone else. But the friggin' judges were always against me. Why do you jerk tank so much? What do I have to do to win? Make it to finish line before everyone else. The turns aren't making any sense. So, turns out Racy doesn't have judges. Not sure who I was yelling at. But they were turds. Danica learned to drive when she was nine. Because that's when I got my fifth DUI. Wow. Me, Danica, starring Danica Patrick and Danica Patrick. Vanity Fair calls Me, Danica as entertaining as it is inaccurate. Ugh, come on, Danica, drive like father, bad and away from me. With her, it was always go daddy this and go daddy that. What about go mommy, huh? When do I get to go? LeVar Ball calls Patrick's performance a loving portrayal of a completely reasonable parent. If you ask me, it all went south when she met that boy. He was a bad influence. Real piece of What's up? So do you like, like me? I think you're the prettiest girl in the world. No, you are. That mustache is hot. Aaron was always telling me to relax, relax, relax. Hey, mustache, I drink a bottle of cooking sherry for lunch every day. I'm very relaxed. Where's my bird? And now, here it is. What y'all came for, folks, a friggin' incident. It was her last race, and old cheesehead just had to stick his nose in. In a bizarre turn of events today, pipe-wielding thugs were caught attempting to sabotage the Indy car. Elio Castroneves. Why? 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 Aaron Rodgers had come to me to help take out Dana's nemesis. I mean, I've got CIA training, Navy SEALs training, ninja training, and CPR training. I'm a triple threat. But I'm also Aaron Rodgers' best friend. That dude is not my best friend. We have never met. Technically, Aaron is right. We are not best friends. We are soulmates. Me, Danica. This fall. The real story. Mm, kind of.
Hey, Mom, has Aaron called yet? Ooh, Barracuda. Coming up next, Jon Stewart presents the Pat Tillman Award for Service. It's the 20th anniversary of the Essies. For adults with advanced non- Annual Sports Humanitarian Awards. Kevin cares for at-risk youth in his home state of Maryland through the Durant Center, which along with financial aid, helped prepare students to get into college. First year of college, we'd like to pay for it. The Kevin Durant Charity Foundation's global Build It and They Will Ball initiative has renovated basketball courts around the world, giving low-income kids access to sport. Real Winners Care and Dove Men Plus Care salutes Kevin Durant, the Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian of the Year. Here to present this year's Pat Tillman Award for Service, please welcome John Stewart. Thank you. Pat Tillman was a true hero. We never got the chance to show the world what he would have accomplished after his military service. But others, often directly inspired by Pat, have picked up the mantle. Like tonight's honoree, Jake Wood. Like Pat, Jake played football. Like Pat, Jake fought for his country, in Jake's case, the Marines. And like, really? One? One clap for the Marines? The Marines, for God's sakes. One guy in the back. Go team. And like Pat, Jake is driven by higher purpose. After leaving the military, Jake formed Team Rubicon, a veterans service organization that deploys headfirst into disaster-stricken areas, helping those in dire need while at the same time bringing needed healing and purpose in the lives of the veterans. But on a personal note, Jake Wood is also super tall and annoyingly handsome. And last night, I saw him in the lobby of the hotel making his pregnant wife a hot coffee with biscotti. And I really think I don't like this guy. Jake Wood never expected he'd spend his life in places like this. This is generally how it's going to work. As soon as they're done, I'm going to go through and I'm going to number the best. Embedded in the aftermath of devastating disasters. Right now, we want to link up with our surgical team. Because when he was young, he dreamed of a future when he'd be cheered by huge crowds at big stadiums in the NFL and had high hopes when he entered the University of Wisconsin as a top offensive lineman recruit. Football in my career at Wisconsin taught me a lot about teamwork, toughness, hard work, you know, how to overcome. I didn't have the career that I thought I was going to. Injury after injury continued to set me back. It would have been really easy to quit. But you know, I owe a lot to football. I am 100% who I am today because of the sport. Three events changed the way Jake looked at the world while he played football at Wisconsin. 9-11, the invasion of Iraq, and then, in spring of 2004, the death of Pat Tillman. Right before my senior year, Pat Tillman was killed in Afghanistan, and it just struck me that this man lived with conviction and paid this sacrifice. And I realized that you know, I wanted to live a life like that. So in 2005, Jake decided to forego his fifth year of eligibility and join the Marines. He'd served four years in the infantry and as part of a sniper team, and then received an honorable discharge. I was applying to graduate school, waiting for the applications to come back, and a few days later, the Hay earthquake happened. I remember sitting there watching it unfold and thinking just how similar it looked to the time I'd spent in Iraq and Afghanistan and really wanted to help find a way to use the skills I had to help people down there. So he reached out to other veterans, and together they formed a response team running medical triage clinics in Haiti. You need to pull your foot back as far as can. It was there that Team Rubicon was born. 
It's grown to an international disaster response organization that unites the skills of military veterans and first responders. In just eight years, what started as a group of eight has grown to 80,000. There have been lots of discoveries along the way, but maybe none bigger than realizing the impact of the work has on the veterans themselves, so many of whom struggle to transition back to civilian life. A veteran was telling me how just a few hours before here, a team member he had almost pulled the trigger. And um, now he's here today and he's loving life. And that just brings me to tears every time I hear those stories. Jake has created something that is saving lives. I'm very proud of him. Couldn't be more proud of him. It's changed my life. Things that were going on in my head and the struggles I had kind of fade away. I was able to focus my efforts on helping somebody else. Being able to share our stories with each other and realize you're not alone. The person next to you, whatever struggles they have, they have you to, to lean on and you can lean on them. We couldn't do it without each other. Since 2010, Team Rubicon has served in more than 250 disaster missions around the world. And 2017 brought them their biggest challenges yet. We started tracking Hurricane Harvey two or three days before it landfall. And then, lo and behold, here comes Maria. It was unprecedented what we saw. The majority of this island is without power. And that's not going to change while we're here. Disasters are inherently chaotic. The quicker that you can bring order to that chaos, the quicker that you can help people. And so that's really what we're trying to do. Their mission continues today. Team Rubicon still in Houston, still in Puerto Rico. And the impact on every side of this story is still growing. There's a job in front of us. It may be daunting. It may be rife with challenge. But we're required to get it done because there's somebody who's counting on us. There are 3 million men and women who have served in the military since 9-11 to 20 million veterans all wars alive in this country. Disasters aren't going anywhere. They're becoming more frequent. I think we have the opportunity to build something that's making a difference in the world every day. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, Sergeant Jake Wood. Thank you. Uh, those are the most important words that I'll utter tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you to ESPN, to Marie Tillman, to Pat Tillman Foundation for selecting me for this award. Thank you to my mother, my father, my three wonderful sisters. Um, thank you to my loving wife um, and the baby girl we're expecting this fall. I, I want to thank the University of Wisconsin, Barry Alvarez, and the Badger football team. I want to thank the Marines of 2nd Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment, every one of them a warrior that answered their nation's call to service. You know, but the military and sports have incredible ability to make differences in our society disappear. Things as simple as a uniform, let team colors like red, blue, or gold, or a camouflage pattern unite us rather than have colors like white, black, or brown divide us.
Hard work in the pursuit of a common goal forces collaboration and appreciation. And I have to believe that if we all served in an infantry platoon or played on a championship team, that we care more about what we have in common than what makes us different. Perhaps most importantly this evening, I want to thank the selfless men and women of Team Rubicon, like Danielle Gilbert and Eli Rivera here with, here with me tonight. These, all right, give them a round of applause. They won the award. The kinds of citizens that America needs, men and women who put service above self, committed to putting differences aside to help the communities in the greatest time of need. You know, we have a saying at Team Rubicon that if Americans treated one another every day like they do after disasters, we'd live in a truly special place. Our Our nation's capacity to love our neighbors is near limitless after a Category 5 hurricane. We donate, we serve, and we pray. Citizens cross the proverbial train tracks to help those they wouldn't speak to the day prior. But why is it that in the months following a storm, we retreat back into our corners to dismiss the human beings that we'd come to love this weeks prior? We can do better, and we must do better. Know your neighbor. Know your neighbor, love your neighbor, help your neighbor. Doing that is the best tribute that we can pay to the memory of Pat Tillman, and it's the best thing for our country right now. Thank you very much. is honored to support this year's recipient of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, Sergeant Chip Wood. Coming up, Chadwick Boseman honors Arthur Ashe, and later, a special look at Warner Brothers' The Meg, opening wide August 10th. It's the ESPYs. For adults with advanced non small cell lung cancer, senior financial accountant, he is currently unavailable. He is playing emergency goalie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Please leave your message after the tone. Scott Foster is the name, everybody. Chicago goalie for night. You know, now that I'm retired, I love take time to inspire the next generation. That's why I started a new organization called Dana Kids. We teach young people that they too can follow their dreams and become future award show hosts. Like Julie Anderson here. Julie, I understand you have some jokes you want to tell everyone. Yes, please. Go ahead. What state should the Pittsburgh Pirates move to? I don't know. Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's super cute. Do you have any more? Yes, I do. Okay. And this next one is about Nick Foles. Oh, Nick. <laughs> Nick Foles caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. And he won MVP. Usually, when a Philadelphian catches something unexpected, they have to go to a clinic. Um, <laughs> Julie, that's just a little Here's quick. another one. LeBron James is coming to LA. He just bought two houses in Brentwood, and people are already going nuts. I mean, a black man hasn't caused this much commotion in Brentwood since OJ. <laughs> Julie, I, I think that's the top. You're a lot of cheer than I thought you'd be. Oh, my next one's just about pizza. Okay. <sighs> Papa John. No. Nope. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. I think I'll just introduce the next presenter. Please welcome WWE star Charlotte Flair and multi-platinum recording artist g -E -Z. Some people say the college game and the pro game are very different. But I know domination when I see it. And that's what the amazing young athletes did, bringing pride and joy to their schools and generations of fans. Here are the nominees for Best College Athlete. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the feeling is. And you got it right away. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. 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 Oh, my gosh.
maestro man, Mr. Brunson, the orchestra leader. Brunson, step back three. Oh. Katie Ledecky, the most dominant swimmer on the planet. Everyone in the field has been loud. She has no rivals. goes to and the winner is Baker Mayfield wow oh what an honor um Feels like the past few months have been uh, about three years since I've played in that Rose Bowl game. Um, a lot of people to thank. My family's here tonight, my beautiful fiance. Um, so get a round of applause for my family. Without you guys, wouldn't have chased my dreams at Oklahoma. I uh, grew up an Oklahoma fan in Austin, Texas, right next to Nick Foles. Um, and I dreamed of playing at Oklahoma. Yeah, I really did. And Going there, Coach Stoops and Coach Riley, everybody that helped me out there, you made a dream come true. All my teammates, I had so much fun. All those guys, it'd be too many to thank, but you guys helped me, uh, you know, fight through the ups and downs. And the one thing I will say, a lot of mistakes through college, but a lot of, you know, moments that I learned from, and I'm proud of that. And so, to all the kids out there, you have dreams, go chase it. No excuses, worth it to quit on your dreams. Go make it happen and just enjoy it. Thank you guys very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star of Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. Ever since the very beginnings of the SBs 25 years ago, the legacy of Arthur Ashe has been at the heart of what the show seeks to achieve and embody. But while we usually focus on his activism and heroism, it's easy to lose sight of something else. Just how great of a tennis player Arthur Ashe was. And the first of his many monumental achievements occurred 50 years ago at the 1968 U.S. Open, where he became the first African-American man to win a major tennis championship. The victory was an early springboard to Arthur's journey beyond the court, a journey that would see him rise for so many who couldn't stand up for themselves and speak for those who didn't have a voice of their own. Later tonight, we'll pay tribute to Arthur's legacy with the presentation of the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage, and fittingly, the honorees are a group of women who've risen to stand up for themselves in, this, in the face of unspeakable abuse, and who, just like Arthur, are speaking out for so many others who cannot. In all 50 years, <laughs> it's 50 years after his breakthrough victory, and Arthur Ashe, the hero, the activist, and the athlete, is still making his impact felt. Cadillac will honor this year's recipients of the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage. Coming up, Dan Marino and John Elway present the Jimmy B Award for Perseverance. And later, Jennifer Garner presents the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage. He's currently starring in his sixth stand-up special called Noble Aid. Please welcome Jim Gaffigan. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why I'm here either. I think I'm here to make the curling guys feel in shape. Um, 
God bless those guys. They're beautiful in a way. All right, not many ways. Performing at highest level at the most important athletic event of the season is everyone's childhood dream. Unfortunately, not everybody gets to be on Dancing with the Stars. Here are the nominees for Best Championship Performance. Kevin Durant torches the Cavaliers. All right, you know that I got it. Oh, back to the finals MVP. Nick Holmes, story since injury to Carson Wentz. Super Bowl MVP, Nick Holmes. He has been a shark for the moment. Yeah, Outstanding player of the final four. Springer is enjoying every minute of his rock. God is fifth in the World Series. Okay. And the SB goes to Nick Falls. I'm honored to be in front of all y'all. I never been a speech. Um, I quite frankly didn't expect to win this award or to even be in this moment. Uh, I just want to thank good Lord for giving me the ability to, to play the game I love. You know, the th thing my wife, Tori, um, she's been every step of the way. She's gone through her own battles on um, the last five years. So you've always been an inspiration. Um, a lot of my family's here. So thank y'all for always supporting me. Um, it's been a crazy career. There's a lot of kids watching this. It's sort of been the theme. There's going to be people that doubt you. Don't listen to them. What matters is what's in here and people that love you, that support you. Go out there every day and be bold. Thank you. Maria Taylor here reminding you to get in the game shopping the ESPYs on eBay, a collection inspired by great athletes everywhere. We'll be right back. The 2018 ESPYs is presented by the Capital One Venture Card. Earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every day. What's in your wallet? And in part, the Dove Men Plus Care. Care makes a man stronger. Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. And Hotels.com. You do you and get rewarded. They never let me do what I really want. Danica wants to rap. Think about that. Danica Patrick rapping. And every year she sends me a new tape. Encyclopedia Danica. <laughs> Dropping knowledge. Is Danica a good rapper? No. But neither was Kobe. And nevertheless, he persisted. Yo, I'm a rap god and you about to find religion. I'm gonna blow you up like Randy Johnson did that pigeon. <laughs> Am I concerned that Danica is involved in cultural appropriation? Definitely. Do I really need this job to feed my family of five? Even more definitely. It was a pretty cushy job until her rap tape started getting leaked a few years back. Lance Armstrong was a hero. Now we someone no one likes. I can't believe we pretended to give a damn about bikes. That one's for you, Cheryl Crow. Now I just do damage control. Lots of damage control. These are all subpoenas. It was meant to be a compliment. A really, really mean, inappropriate compliment. 
In her defense, many countries, man or is considered a distinguished profession. Please stop crying, Sister Jean. Look, I'm sorry Danica said that you were the most overrated virgin to Tim Tebow. This is a rap lyric. Let's do this. In the 25 years that I've been doing this, I have been threatened by Bill Lambeer, slapped by Kurt Warner, and I've been forced to watch Chris Berman eat chicken wings real slow. But that Danica, she scares me the most. Dio got in the camp and said no to those suckers, so now he'll do a speech at a low bud ruckers. The ceremony is actually going to be in Chattanooga. And Frank, I don't like her tone. She got the braids on the cruise. I think they look good. I do. This was never about the raps. This was about getting people scared of the raps. Rob Gronkowski is a meathead who can always catch a pass. Surprises you here outside of Tom Brady's ass. Rob bought a racer, and was so jacked to meet it. He gave the horse his name, but was bummed he couldn't eat it. He almost beat Justify about lost my mind. The only time it's good to hear Gronks come from behind. Hey, Max, is Ronnie Reed here? She's writing her next rap about you. As soon as I heard that, I knew I had to make her the host of the show. I got a lot of skeletons in my closet. You know, a lot of things that are very shameful. I'm the Eagles fan that ate that poop off the ground after the Super Bowl, and I can't have that getting out. Oh, <clears throat> damn it. And that's how I got this hosting gig. Student athletes sacrifice everything they've got all year round for their team and school. Capital One celebrates their relentless pursuit of excellence by awarding the Capital One Cup to the best men's and women's Division I college sports programs. Through dedication and determination, these student athletes have earned the ultimate prize in college sports and a combined $400,000 in student athlete scholarships. Tonight, we'll celebrate best in college sports in their pride, their passion, and their championship spirit. Later tonight, we will award the Capital One one cup. Only 100 calories. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. Wacklaw Hard Seltzer. For adults with advanced non-small cell lung cancer, previously treated with platinum-based chemotherapy, including those with an abnormal ALK or EGFR gene who've tried an FDA-approved targeted therapy, who wouldn't want a chance for another? Who'd say no to a... Who wouldn't want a chance to live longer? Opivo, Nivolumab. Over 40,000 patients have been prescribed Opdivo immunotherapy. Opdivo can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in your body and affect how they work. This may happen during or after treatment has ended and may become serious and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you experience new or worsening cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, extreme fatigue, constipation, excessive thirst or urine, swollen ankles, loss of appetite, rash, itching, headache, confusion, hallucinations, muscle or joint pain, flushing, fever or weakness, as this may keep these problems from becoming more serious. These are not all the possible side effects of Adivo. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems or if you've had an organ transplant or lung breathing or liver problems. A chance to live longer, because who wouldn't want that? Ask your doctor about Adivo. Thank you to all involved in Adivo clinical trials. It's my iPhone 6. Can we fix this for tonight? Yeah, you can turn off the performance management feature. Battery bottling. Or you can just upgrade it. Whoa! Buy Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, or Note 8 and get a free 64 gigabyte memory card. Some cashback cards send you on a journey to get your bonus cashback. First, they make you sign up for bonus cashback, and it's only on a few categories. And when those categories change, you gotta sign up again. When does it end? With the Capital One Quicksilver card, you earn unlimited 1.5% cashback on every purchase every week. It's like a cashback oasis. What's in your wallet? Gatorade. 
with electrolytes to help you rehydrate so you can keep sweating. Study, test it, prove it. Nothing beats Gatorade. Think of the happiest things. It's the same as having wings. To the stars beyond the blue, there's a Neverland waiting for you. When you leave the world behind, you can fly. You can fly. You can fly. Soccer players celebrate with a slide. You can count on Geico saving folks money. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Magic! Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Berman. 25 years of this, we're pretty proud of it. Those of us who were here at the very beginning of these aspies remember how it all started with the guy we had called Jimmy V. Standing on this stage with the one in New York and telling us not to ever give up. Well, I know that Coach Valvano would be proud to hear that since 1993, ESPN has raised more than $80 million. Hall of Famers, John Elway and Dan Marino. Hall of Fame was this guy, and this guy, and one guy's named Jim Kelly, a special guy. There might be nothing hard in football than getting to the brink of what you dream of and falling short. Well, Jim Kelly led the Buffalo Bills to the Super Bowl four times, and each time fell just short. Time and again, Jim found a way to lead the team back the next season, out of the darkness, ready to climb back to the top once more. Since Jim retired, he traveled a tougher road than any of us could have imagined. But as you're about to hear, he's lived his life the same way he played the game of football. Kelly backing up, falls down, gets up. Jim Kelly's career was defined by his toughness. A toughness instilled in him through five simple words, uttered time and again by his father. Get up. You'll be all right. He wanted us to understand that we're all going to go through tough times. You're going to fall down, but when you fall down, get up. That's how my dad raised all of us. And all these years later, that phrase still defines Jim's life, long after he left football behind. I've had to make one of the most difficult decisions of my of my life. The time I announced my retirement, my wife was pregnant. Her water broke. It was Valentine's Day. This is my birthday. Wow! Would it be awesome if we had a boy? I thought about my son wearing number twelve. All these dreams I had. But the good Lord had different plans for me. Hunter James Kelly was born two weeks after. For 14 months, watched him suffer. He was on oxygen 24 hours a day. And he was too fed, so he never ate by mouth. Every morning we woke up, we was like, is this the day that our son's going to heaven? It has been written throughout my career that toughness is my trademark. 
while the toughest person I've ever met in my life is my hero, my soldier, my son, Hunter. Hunter would go on to become one of the longest living survivors of infantile Kravis disease. He lived to be eight and a half years old. Hunter never spoke a word, but he taught my wife and I the definition of toughness, the definition of never giving up, because he never gave up one day of his life. For the last